Hello my friends, welcome to the new video from the Invoking Demon series. I'm very happy to speak to you again. And uh, I have prepared today something special. Uh, I would like to speak not about one spirit or one entity, but about two of them. Because I believe these two entities, maybe according to some sources, are only one. Or uh, that, it, that means that they might be duplicated in some, in some uh, magical grimoires with different names, but it may be the one spirit. Or, uh, which is my theory, is that these two spirits are actually very close to each other. They are something like Geminis of the Goetia, but they are different spirits, but definitely very close to each other. I would like to speak today about Zagan, which is also considered one of the spirits of the lesser, uh, one of the kings of the lesser key of Solomon, one of the nine kings, and, I, uh, and is also having a uh, rank of the president, which is interesting. So he's king and president in in lesser key of Solomon, and also I would like to speak about Hagenti which is uh, another spirit uh, from the uh, Lesser Key of Solomon, the 48th uh, spirit. And his rank is also president. Um, so let's maybe look a little bit further into this. I will start uh, with uh, uh, the king and president Zagan. So we stay with the hierarchy. And uh, what does it mean? Yeah, like many of you like who are reading uh, this type of grimoires, you will find out that the spirits are being uh, somehow sorted into the specific feudal ranks. We know that uh, Lesser Key of Solomon is probably a grimoire from the early, uh, early 16th century, probably 15th century. Uh, that uh, was ranking these spirits according to the feudal ranks. They are uh, they are ranks of kings. There are nine of them, uh, and Zagan is one of these nine kings. So the presiding spirits of the Goetia. Then we have also another uh, another spirits. We have dukes. We have princes. We have marquises. Uh, and presidents, and there is also one knight. <laughs> the knight is Furkas, but maybe I will speak about Furkas in another video why he is a knight. Um, about Zagan, we know relatively little, uh, but it might seem that we know little about him, but uh, I hope that I will explain more of these things in the video today. Um, for those of you, just to give you a little bit picture, uh, Lesser Key of Solomon recognized nine Goetic kings, the, the, the strong spirits under, and under those spirits there are like a whole legions of another spirit, so uh, we know that there are nine kings, Bael, Paimon, Beleth, uh, Purson, Ashmodai, Vine, uh, Balam, Zagan and Belial. Uh, uh, Zagan is not uh, invoked as much. I don't know why, because because uh, Zagan appears uh, as a spirit in many occult sources. Zagan appears not only in Lesser Key of Salaman, where he is taking the 61st uh, place, he's the 61st spirit of, uh, of, of, uh, of Goetia, but he also appears in Livre de Esperits, in, in Book of the Offices, and also in Pseudomonarchia uh, Demonum. Uh, Zagan is the 63rd spirit, Hagenti is the 48th spirit. So you might say, okay, what is the connection here? Uh, it is in, uh, the first thing is that in Lesser Key of Solomon, yes, they have different name, different numbers. But if you look in Pseudomonarchia Demonum, Zagan is, uh, on, uh, uh, is on the different uh, number. In uh, Pseudomonarchia Demonum, its author Johann Weyer uh, places Zagan on the 47th number and Hagenti is following uh, 48. Uh, they are uh, very similar in description 
and also not only in the description of what they do but also uh, how they uh, practically uh, look like so if we if you read first like Ars Goetia, Lesser Key of Solomon and Lemageton we know by the way this is very good book uh, I, uh, by Mrs. Arundel Overman so uh, first like the Lesser Key of Solomon speaks like the uh, there is uh, his uh, the, uh, the, the 61st spirit, according to Lesser Key of Solomon, is Zaga. He is a great king and president, appearing at first in the form of a bowl with griffon wings, but after a while he puts on human shape. He makes the man witty, he can turn one into water, so it means that he is like practically like master of transformation and blood into wine, also water into wine. He can turn all metals into coin of the dominion that metal is of. He can even make fools wise. He governs 33 legions of spirit and then uh, goes his, uh, his seal. Uh, if you look at the description of a lesser key of Solomon for Hagen tea, uh, Hagen tea is on the 48th uh, place. It's president as well. And it is. Hagen T is appearing in the form of a mighty bull. So again, it's a bull with griffon wings. Again, griffon wings. So it means it has power of the. Uh, this is related to the elements of energy, air and fire. Yeah. Uh, by fire, we mean it's powerful spirit. Probably gives you some kind of witty understanding. And air, it is. It is. Uh, it can affect a lot of things. Uh, in our material plane. These, these spirits are acting very powerfully in some kind of spell working. I will speak about it later. So elements are practically, if, if wings are mentioned, you know this is the spirit of the air. If bull, uh, very many times this is, this is fire. Yeah, so it can have like two elements. So against this duality in both of them, they have dual elements. They have dual vision. They look. Uh, they have. They have wings, but they have also boost. This duality is there always. So, and again, it continues. This is at first. So he shows as a bull with wings, but after, at the command of the exorcist, he puts on human shape again as with Zagan. His office is to make men wise as with Zagan, and to interest, instruct them in diverse things, also to transmute all metals into gold, and to change wine into water, and water into wine. He governs 33 legions, the same amount as Zagan, of spirits, and his seal continues as, as it is. The seals are totally different, by the way. Yeah, But we might think that this means what what this represents they have practically almost the same appearance they have all they do the same practically the same things in pseudo monarchia demonum it's number 47 48 uh, and uh, we might uh, some people might say that there is a mistake in these sources that practically this both of these spirits are the same spirit just there was some kind of uh, misunderstanding and uh, and uh, it happened that uh, there are instead of two spirits we should have only only one but I believe that the truth is as in many things in magic a little bit deeper so what can help us to understand these uh, uh, these uh, this possible mystery we can look a little bit into the etymology of the names Zagan or Zegain in Pseudomonarchia Demonum and also in Liber de Esprit uh, is uh, has a very similar like uh, is phonologically similar to Zagan or to Akkadian name uh, Sharukin Zagain Sharukin it means true king so we know that Zagan is also the king and uh, probably this uh, this title Sharukin in it comes from from the uh, Akkadian king Sargon the Elder, that was also uh, considered as a as a magician. And uh, in Hebrew, uh, Zagan uh, Sagan in Hebrew means word for lieutenant for for or or assistant. Uh, but uh, 
there is similarity between Zagan and Hagenti because uh, Hagenti can be also um, in Hebrew understand that they have like uh, same etymology from the word Zuk. So it was not Hagenti, it was Zukgenti. And it means pair or a uh, twosome. So we, 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 this, this book is, these books are practically telling us that the Zagan and Hagenti is twosome. That he consists two sources. He is, he, he, he is also in Greek, uh, the term Zeugos means to join something together. So the deep etymology of this word means that the that the that the Zagan spirit is joined. Is is uh, it has two? It's a Gemini practically. I am a Gemini as well, so <laughs> that's uh, what kept my uh, kept my interest. We also know that the spirits of Hagenti and Zagan have the same astrological planet of Mercury. In zodiac, uh, Mercury is the planet for for Gemini as well. These spirits do practically three things. The first is that Zagan, Zagan and Hagenti can practically transform or transmute metals. They turn uh, things to gold. It means, uh, it means practically that they are able to um, practically affect the, the something that is of not worth into worth. Uh, it also applies that practically this uh, mm, this this is this is something that can uh, that can that can lead to the to the transformation. They but uh, also they uh, uh, they transform not only metals but they uh, transform also liquids, wine into water and back. So uh, by this we understand the, the spiritual aspect. Metals means like the material things around us, our our position in life, our health pr probably. Spiritual transformation is this wine or this water to wine. They uh, they can uh, they can they can bring both. They are dual. They can bring curses. They can make people ill. They can make people insane, or they can make people clever. The third transformation, which is the, uh, which is the uh, to turn fool into a wise man. So we know that the spirits are practically deep into gnosis, into into deep understanding of things. Uh, mm, uh, there is deep transformative transform, transformative power uh, in these two spirits. What is interesting is also with this power of Zagan, this king. If, if the spirit is a king, it means that it has very, uh, it is the spirit of r relatively uh, very high emanation. It's hard to be invoked because it has a lot of intermediaries, other spirits that work for him. He's too, too, too deep. But Zaygan is also a president. Uh, so mm, we might say that the spirit can affect also our normal lives. Zagan was many times for spell working. Also Hagenti is a president, so probably this is the, 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 the spirit, if they are twins, they practically can affect everything. Spell working, uh, financial things, turning something into gold, or also transmutation power to, to make you think uh, deeper, to understand magic in some, in some deeper ways. So, if we understand the name Zagan as something like uh, this uh, from Hebrew, this Zuk, or from, from Greek, that it's like uh, uh, doubled or twin, what is Hagenti? What is the, uh, what is, uh, what I was also in, in interested about that. The name sounds a little bit different, but uh, the etymology is probably coming from this name Zuk. But uh, Hagenti is uh, named by this name only in Lesser Key of Solomon. But uh, in uh, another, uh, even older grimoire, Liber de Esprits, uh, a French grimoire, uh, this uh, Hagenti has also other names. Uh, it is names as Vrial, or Brial, or Lucubar. 
and uh, we can say okay they, they are they are very similar with the what they do in this transformation Hagen we know that comes maybe from this twin name but uh, what was this real uh, real uh, in this V in Latin can be was understand in, in when you write V in Latin it's not considered as V but as U so real becomes Uriel and Uriel is Uriel the Archangel of air uh, that's a little bit troublesome no but, but what is Uriel as an Archangel doing uh, uh, doing between the demons what is he uh, what is what is practically his role there yeah um, but uh, there are some uh, uh, Gnostic uh, understanding Gnostics were mostly mystics that thought that that were trying to invoke also the demons and so on and they 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 thought that uh, uh, if Hagenti's name is also Briel or Uriel it means that uh, it's similar uh, that uh, this airy spirit can connect with the with the angelic spheres and also with with material world around us so this is practically that this 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 hagen this spirit is an agent that acts in all areas of uh, of this of this multiverse by uh, with hagen hagen -T is practically then close also to angels and if you think that zagan hagen -T is the same source this dual source this zook this dual source then we get it like that these these spirits this this combination of two spirits is both angelic and demonic at once it is king high emanation and it's also president the spirit that acts in our material reality so there are so many uh, like these small nuances that i was like really really thinking about it like uh, that the the position of the spirit as an agent as an intermediary uh, between the world of demons and the eye emanations of angels uh, it is is there uh, again the spirit the planet is the same it's mercurial we know that mercury was a uh, also an agent someone who was a messenger of gods so maybe the zagan hagenti slash zagenti is also a messenger he can connect us with with the realms of the of the uh, with the high spiritual realms but can affect also our our reality around us you can do spell working and magic with him because he transmutes the, but you can also ask him for deep deep gnosis and uh, uh, that is uh, something that uh, I felt when I tried to invoke them at once. Before I move to my own uh, spiritual or my own individual experience uh, for working with these two spirits, I just want to uh, mention something. Uh, there are several misconceptions going on uh, in our modern like uh, occult understanding of of these uh, sources of these demons you know uh, the things that i already mentioned sometimes that the sigil are misplaced that it's okay for example with azazel uh, we are using the azazel uh, 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 sigil for saturn yeah but it's not original azazel sigil but it, yes it can be used with uh, Haures, many people believe that Haures is Horus but, uh, because these names are similar, but they are not. Uh, these, these etymologies are a little bit more uh, to, to sometimes find out. Uh, and the same thing is with Zagan. As I mentioned, Zagan is, uh, has, has different etymology, but some people would say that, that it's much more easier that Zagan is actually Dagon or Dagan in Hebrew but it's not because if you look at the uh, at the manifestation of the spirit this bull's head griffins uh, 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 the, the wings of the griffin 
uh, it uh, this uh, this spirit manifests absolutely differently than uh, than uh, uh, than uh, Dagon or Dagan is manifesting. Uh, Dagon in English was a Phoenician god. He was worshipped in ancient Syria uh, in the middle of the Euphrates. And uh, it was it was a uh, s uh, it was a uh, s god that manifested uh, that was a patron also of the of the naval shipments and of the sea, and uh, Dagon is sometimes manifested as a mermaid or a female god, the god of prosperity. The uh, uh, there. Uh, this 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 spirit or, or this god uh, was very popular, but uh, there is nothing like uh, dual or, or there is no duality in him. If you if you look at the pictures, you will realize that Dagon or Dagan is uh, a very prominent god uh, in Mesopotamia. He he is uh, considered also the father of the god. But uh, there are mm, that's that's practically everything. When you look at how Zagan and Hagenti look like, they have nothing uh, in common with this with this depiction of of Dagon. It's just uh, comfortable to think about it. I saw so many uh, mentionings of this that uh, Zagan is uh, Dagon. No, no, it is uh, it is something different, and I will tell you what I think it is. Uh, Hagenti and uh, Zagon or Zagan are looking like these old. Uh, if you look at, at uh, in Babylonia, uh, you will find the sculptures or, or statues of these demonic, uh, of these big protectors, these lions with human heads and griffing wings. They are considered as guardians of, of doorways. Yeah. And uh, in ancient Babylonia, there was actually, and later on, even in Neo Assyrian period, uh, there was a deity that was called Lugal Ira, and uh, there was a, it was a twin deity, two big uh, like these these guardians that look exactly like 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 Zagan and Hagenti, and they were called Lugal Ira and Meslam Taea. Uh, these these uh, they are uh, they are considered uh, great twins. It can be translated, and uh, these 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 gods were uh, worshipped mostly in the in the city of Kisiga uh, that was uh, uh, located in northern Babylonia. So we are speaking current Iraq, and uh, uh, Lugal Ira and Menslam Taera were twin gods. Uh, related to the star constellation of Gemini. And we know that Zagan and Hagenti are again Mercurial. And uh, Mercurial is again Zodiac for Gemini. So we speak practically about twin gods. Lugal Ira, Meslam Taea. Uh, uh, this duality is not only in Mesopotamian religion. Later on, the duality of the stars or, or duality of the gods uh, is prevalent in other deific masks. In, in Rome, it was Castor and Pollux. In Rome, it was also this dual god Janus with, with, uh, with, with two faces. Uh, so, mm, also, uh, Bible uh, is, is mentioning uh, duality of two tribes, two brotherly tribes that were an enemies of Hebrews, the, tri uh, the tribes of Gog and Magog, that, uh, that were enemies of, of, of Yahweh. So Lugal Ira and Meslam Taea are very pro is probably are the original names for, for, for Zagan and Hagenti. And uh, yeah, might be theory, <laughs> might be not, but uh, I decided to invoke these spirits together. I have uh, decided to do uh, an invocation, of course, during the uh, hour of the Mercury, and uh, I I draw like sigils. I know at the times the sigils were not used, but we are living now in the more modern area, so I I invoked both of them, and I felt, you know, 
some some people would say why should we look so deep into the sources i just invoke the daemon and uh, it, it works for me it can yeah but i can uh, i feel that it's like with uh, imagine that someone would like to speak to you and you would feel happy if you know that the person that wants to speak to you is interested a little bit about you how are you doing where you come from to know you better so with the spirits is the same when i when i invoked zagan and Hagenti together i felt curiousness from their side it was like uh, oh now someone finally remembers and uh, uh, they are indeed uh, fiery and airy spirits it was like two spirits at once meeting together in one invocation i felt that there it was quite rare invocation because i know that not so many people maybe invoke Zagan or Hagenti, and even in the combination it might have been even more rare. So I can recommend you, maybe I was just one of the few people that invoked these two uh, in a couple of months or maybe even years, I don't know, maybe some people do it. But I encourage you to invoke them together. They, are, they can be invoked together during these mercurial times. And uh, I can tell you that these when you know them the connection is much more powerful and uh, the things can happen if you ask for more knowledge sometimes also or if you if you want to do some kind of uh, magical spell that should have some uh, result in actual life around you these things can happen they are really mercurial you feel this light solarian energy coming from it like liquid mercury yeah they they the, the things are changing emotions are changing but they are also fiery spirits they are not so dreamy it is it is more about action yeah like if you work with the spirits of uh, of water more like it's 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 different it's it, they come with dreams with uh, with zagan and hagenti it was like you feel uh a lot of energy coming into you and a lot of activation power they practically push you towards uh towards action to do something in your life to 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 uh, a lot of information and thoughts came to me if you work well like with uh if you are a salesman or if you want with commerce markets if you want to understand how things work it's it, as, as, as it said like the, the the zagan king can make fool a witty so i don't say that i'm a witty person but i really felt a little bit like my iq went for a few hours up i was feeling very very uh, enthusiastic about the connection uh, and uh, this this is the uh, this is the power of these spirits. Hagenti is sometimes invoked also. I would if you want to really uh, do some kind of spell work, invoke maybe Hagenti and Zagan also, like just like invoke both of them, but focus maybe on Hagenti. If you want gnosis, if you want internal transformation, if you want to be successful for a long term period in your life, work with Zagan more but uh, uh, say hello to both of them if you invoke them you you are going to in, uh, you are going to connect with these twin entities friends if you uh, had your own experiences with zagan and hagenti please just let me know in the comments uh, i will be very happy to know and uh, if, uh, yeah looking forward to another video from the Invoking Demon series and uh, speak to you later. Good day.